John Moore reporting from the Coliseum for the Chronicle Herald, joined by Moosehead's coach Tom Ducharme after a 4-1 victory over the Moncton Wildcats. Tom, tell me about your team's performance the second game of this weekend. Well, we, uh, we wanted to uh, be strong through the middle and keep them to the outside. I thought we did uh, a fairly good job on that tonight. Created a lot of turnovers, and uh, in the first and third, uh, we used our, our speed well offensively, and they got us some some uh, some ch chances. And uh, Kevin was good in that. Second period, we played a little bit more on our heels, just defending more. Uh, overall, uh, I like uh, I like our, our effort for sure. Uh, you know, I just I just took it shot by shot tonight. Uh, there wasn't, you know, any point at the game where they were really dominating us, and uh, you know, I had to make uh, a bunch of big saves. The guys did a really good job in front of me, and uh, it was just a solid team win, like I said. How meaningful a win is this, considering the team has been on a little bit of a funk, having lost five in a row? Uh, I think it's really big for us. Uh, it's uh, one of the best teams in the league, so for us to beat them tonight after our little losing streak, it, it gives us confidence for sure. Tom, a win's a win, but this snaps a five-game losing streak. Uh, how big a win is this one? Well, it's good to see the guys rewarded. They, they come at the rink. They, all week, uh, guys were worked really hard, and it could have been last night. Did it happen? And uh, uh, you know, uh, everyone did uh, their part today, and the guys got rewarded, and they, des they deserve it. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Coach Ducharme and the Mooseheads will head home. and They've got their third game of the weekend Sunday afternoon against the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. That's a rare 3 o'clock start at the Scotiabank Centre. But here this afternoon, the Mooseheads with a 4-1 victory over the Moncton Wildcats. John Moore reporting for the Chronicle Herald.